Ontario has a healthy fiscal situation. The government's 2023 fall economic statement made that clear. There are two ways to fix an affordability crisis. You can either make things cost less, or you can make sure that ordinary people can afford a decent life and ensure that they can rely on good public services. Budgets are not neutral, these are choices. It is a choice to pay 300% more for private surgeries than public hospitals would be paid for the same surgeries. It's a choice to turn over provincial landmarks like Ontario Place and the Ontario Science Centre to private developers and then build a multi-million dollar parking lot with public funds. It is a choice to ignore advice from the provincial civil service to eviscerate municipal planning bylaws and rezone huge tracts of the Greenbelt so that Benefits go to friends to the tune of $8 billion in increased property values. The Ford government's plan to scrap the cap on big box grocers and convenience stores who sell alcohol take millions out of public revenues from the LCBO. Last summer, Northern Ontario faced real danger when the province was short 50 fire crews. These jobs are three and six month contracts. These jobs are tragically underfunded and the staffing levels reflect that. They are not appealing to firefighters who would now rather work for municipalities. Public funds going towards shareholder profits are not caring about Ontarians. And our best advice is to use this opportunity to make things better for ordinary people in Ontario, not worse. Invest in the services that people rely on for a decent life and in the people who deliver those services.